Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. When last we left the Avatar, he dared to venture into a new world, into the Nether. And my, was it a dangerous place. We did find what we wanted pretty much immediately, a Nether Fortress, but it was inhabited by loads of deadly blaze mobs. And they set the Avatar on fire several times. His armor's a bit scorched. And this sword is not looking so good anymore, but we did get what we wanted. A blaze rod. Two of them, in fact. So we now have a brewing stand for alchemy and fuel to fuel that alchemy. But we're not going to be focusing on uh, alchemy right now. What we want to do is we want to uh, mine over to here with these stone pickaxes. We might as well use them and set up an enchanting room, a library, where we shall have our enchantment table. Now the enchantment table will be in the middle, it will be right here, and all around the uh, enchantment table will be bookshelves. Now bookshelves are made by using planks and books. Books are made by using paper and leather, and we're going to need at least one book to make the uh, enchantment table. So let's clear out a little bit of area here, because what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, six bookshelves here, six bookshelves uh, here, and six bookshelves here. This will make up most of the room. The floor is actually going to be made of planks, because I quite like the uh, enchantment room, the library, it's one of the same, having a uh, plank motif, because the uh, area is uh, a place of study and it's surrounded by wood. All the uh, bookshelves are made of wood after all, so it makes sense for there to be a wooden floor. We're going to uh, have the... Right there, this here... Actually, we're going to have to build a little bit further in, aren't we? Yes, we are. How many of the stone bricks do we still have? Not many. We're going to need to make a couple more. Not many more, though. I would say maybe 16 would be sufficient. So we'll need two coal. And I know that uh, in here is some iron waiting for me. That and that. Marvellous. We're also going to need a door. It's going to be a wooden door. And we have a wooden door right here. And two wooden pressure plates. There we go. Go down here, put that there, put the door here like that. And we want to do this and that so that we can put this here. We do want to make this room a little bit bigger. We want to make it quite a bit bigger actually. I underestimated the size of this room. Me? Underestimating the size of rooms? That never happens! It totally happens. Actually, I want this to be a... Uh, wooden uh, plank block there. I don't want that to be stone. So, how much wood do we have? We have loads of wood! Excellent! More than enough for our needs. So that's going to be there. Actually, we could uh, do this. And that should actually be fine. This room should be big enough. Now we want to uh, change these so that they're... Well, that one's gone. It served its purpose. We want to change these so that they are stone brick. We want to change that so that it's stone brick. And we want to put our pressure plate there. Okay, let us now make the enchantment table. We're going to need the obsidian, which is there. Four of them. We are going to need two of our precious diamonds. It'll be worth it. Getting access to enchantment is always worth it. There we go. And then we will need a book. Do we have any leather on hand? We probably don't. No, I don't think we do. We definitely don't. So we're going to have to go and get some leather. Fortunately, we have plenty of resources with which to get leather. We have this wheat. We can feed it to the cows. The cows will uh, 
have babies, and then we will kill two of the cows, giving us a steady population of four cows, and hopefully getting us some leather. It's one leather per book, and we want three books per bookshelf. But right now, we just need one of the uh, books, there we go, for the enchantment table. And we got some raw beef, which we can cook in the smoker to get beef. Also, there is a creeper right here. Hello, would you kindly not be here? That was probably the creeper over there that I said I had to remember and then forgot about that followed me over to here. It's alright though, I can deal with it. You can use that gunpowder to make TNT. Not really something I ever do, but you can. So let's uh, grab that and then get rid of all of this. We're actually going to want to have a lot more cows, mainly because we need all that leather. Now, if you had a looting sword to uh, defeat the cows with, your chances of getting leather vastly increased. But we don't have one of them, so we're just going to have to stick with uh, getting lucky and getting one, or maybe two if we're fortunate. Right now, though, we have one solitary book. That's enough, though, I think, for the enchanting table. One book, four obsidian, two diamond. We have it, but we are not placing it down just yet. Mainly because we don't have a room that's actually ready to uh, take full advantage of that uh, enchanting table. We will do. It'll take a while to get it, but we will do. Now let's put the uh, stuff away once I've finished off uh, modeling this room up, because this room has a fair bit that needs to be done to it. And you know what I need for that? I need that uh, stone brick that I was busy smelting. That's what I need. Silly me, going down without things I require. Whatever next? Being inefficient? There we go. So that's going to be that there. What I want to do is go up here and make this a wooden ceiling. Like so. Then I want... I actually want that to be... Uh, stone, that to be stone, and that to be stone, but the rest of it I want to be wood, because I want these to actually be wooden steps. I'm going with an aesthetic here, a certain style of room. How many stone steps, uh, wooden steps rather, do I actually have? Stone steps? Irrelevant, because I'm uh, not making them. The answer is zero. So let's make eight of those. Oh, we're also going to need a uh, lantern, if we have any of those spare. We do. One should suffice. We're also going to be doing a fair bit of fishing soon. Just because uh, it's a good thing to uh, take up some time while we're waiting for the cows. Now we want that to be wood, that to be wood, and that to be wood. Wood, wood, and wood. More wood, more wood, and more wood. This room is actually nearly done. Apart from all the bookshelves, we're going to need them. But that'll all come in time. There we go. We can also fill up these with uh, anything, really, because uh, we're not ever going to see these. So there we go. We're going to have six bookshelves there, six bookshelves there, and six bookshelves there for a total of 18 bookshelves, which is actually far more than we need, because to gain the maximum effectiveness out of a uh, enchantment table, you only need 15 bookshelves. But I'm going to go for uh, a little bit above and beyond. Why not, eh? I'll tell you why not, because it takes a lot of effort to uh, get 18 bookshelves. But I'll do it. I'm pretty sure I can. At least that's the hope. So that can go there and there. This can go there and here. 
They'll stay there for now. And I want to put this away because I'm not going to be going to the nether for a little bit. Food and natural stuff goes there. That goes there. We'll keep that there. This one spare um, torch, that can go there because I'm going to want that inventory space. And I think we're pretty good for now. Oh, it's dark. There is, however, a uh, zombie there with a shovel. I could do with that shovel. You didn't give it to me. Darn it. I'm also getting shot at. You know what? Let's go in here now. Ha-ha! And don't accidentally walk over the pressure plate to let the uh, skeleton in. Here's why I put the uh, bed upstairs. So that I can rest with uh, enemies close by, and of course, one skeleton decided to have a swim. That skeleton, however, did not decide to have a swim. That skeleton is about to perish. Or did that skeleton manage to get uh, under a tree? No, you got in the water. It's okay. I can deal with you. Like so. Didn't get an arrow for it, but uh, we did get some bones. Bones are useful. So we'll put that here, this here, those there, and we're going to harvest... Oh, hello! Have you come to say hi? You are now gone. And I get the experience. We're going to harvest all of this uh, wheat here, and that has uh Ooh! Ow! Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh! You've decided to uh, swim over to here, have you? Well, have at thee. That was just rude. That was so very rude. Now I've got to go down here, eat this loaf of bread, and then get my... Uh, steel hoe, I believe it was here, to go and re-farm that bit of dirt. Don't know why that decided to, uh, ooh, there's a sheep in here. Really don't want you in here, but you know what? I'll have you in the sheep enclosure. Come this way. There we go. You can pop into here. All the other sheep are going to be like, oh, He's got wheat! After him! This one, however, has lost interest. There we go! In you go, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to make some red dye. And then use the red dye on one of these sheep to get a red sheep. That's how that works, right? You just use dye on the wool, and then the wool always grows back that colour. What do you mean that's not how that works? Ah oh, well. Let's go and do what I was originally intending to do. Harvest all of this. We're going to need it if we're going to get a lot more cows. It's going to take a long time to get uh, all of those uh, bits of leather. Fishing does potentially yield leather. It is classed as a junk uh, piece of uh, loot. And you can get it. That'll always be good. Can we get some bone meal? Not this time, it would seem. Aha! Right at the end, the game went, Oh, okay then, fine, you can have some bone meal. Let's see if I can do this. No, no, I can't. It went, one, what? You're actually trying to do this? No. And then it broke. Alas. But we can always make another one. We have uh, quite a few blocks of iron and some wood. A little bit of uh, stick there, sticks there, a few sticks there, and one, two, that should... No, I just need one. I was thinking of making something completely different there. That's what I want. Excellent. So put these in the right place, like that. We don't need the sticks anymore, so... Stick goes back there. We do want the fishing rod, though. There's the fishing rod. I actually want the fishing rod to go there at the moment. We haven't named the fishing rod. We could name the fishing rod if we wanted to. No real reason to just yet. So, let's do some fishing. It's pretty safe right now, but I'm going to keep the shield out. The shield is going to need fixing up at some point. Just waiting.
We want those calves to uh, grow up into fully grown cows. And in the meantime, we'll just fish. Why not? We may find something awesome, like a magically enchanted book with mending and unbreaking three. That is the dream item. If you find something with that, hold on to it. Get something you really want to uh, last forever, like say a diamond sword or a diamond piece of armor, and put it on that. Then experience will uh, restore it up, and unbreaking three means that it's much less likely to break in the first place. You will sometimes find uh, magically enchanted books while you're out and about exploring in uh, various strongholds. You'll also find uh, things like that in one area that we don't have access to yet. We're not going to have access to there for a very long time. You have to either be exceptionally fortunate and randomly stumble upon it, or you have to purposely go out and seek it. And I'm not going to be purposely going out to seek it for a very long time. So serene. So calm. So fishing! There's a bite. What is it? Is it something good? It's a fish. By the way, uh, pufferfish, if you're exploring the ocean biomes, they're dangerous. They will deal damage to you if you get too close to them, and they'll poison you. And the poison is not good. You don't want to get poisoned by pufferfish. In normal, it doesn't hurt too much with the uh, awesome armor I have. In hard, with iron, it might hurt a fair bit. Should probably work on uh, making a uh, banner at some point. That's why I got the uh, red sheep. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, we should have more than just a red sheep. We have two white sheep there. Let's actually get a another one, so that I can then get a yellow sheep. And I should also uh, fix up that uh, dirt area. You and you. Let's quickly close that up before one of you tries to escape. Hello, chicken. We're just going to grab this here. Now we have a lamb. We have some yellow dye. And now we have a yellow sheep. I just like using yellow for various things like uh, carpets and the like and beds. Okay, back to what I was doing, which was fishing. Reel it out and wait patiently. Other things I like getting uh, magic books for, things like um, sharpness is good, efficiency is great, looting and uh, fortune are great. Looting is the uh, same thing for weapons, specifically a sword, as uh, fortune is for tools, like a pickaxe or a shovel. It increases the chance of you getting certain drops, and will increase the number of certain drops that you can get. It makes the difference between uh, getting one blaze rod from a uh, blaze sometimes, to getting two or even three blaze rods from a blaze. It makes getting them a lot simpler. You don't need that many of them very often, but uh, having lots of them, always a good idea. I really want a saddle right now. That's what I'm fishing for. I'm fishing for a saddle. Either that, or a better enchanted fishing rod, or an enchanted bow. An enchanted bow would be quite handy. We're going to put this uh, stone pickaxe here right now. Don't need that at the moment. Not going to need it for a while. There's another fish. Once we get a saddle, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a map and go out with my horse and see what I can find beyond this small area that I call home. The avatar will do a bit of exploring. Maybe we can find a naturally generated village. That would be quite nice. It would save me having to make one of my own, but I do like making villages. Still, having one that's already there if it's not too far away, that'd be neat. No guarantees of that, though. No guarantees of anything in Minecraft, apart from the fact that the sky will be there, the sun will be there, and loads of monsters will be below. Unless you decide to uh, change everything so that the sun isn't there, and uh, peaceful mode will mean that monsters aren't there. So not even those things that I just said are uh, things that are always constant, are constant. 
But there's a fish. Fishing up fish. That's pretty constant. Unless you fish up a bone. Or a tripwire hook. Or a piece of string. That's another way, as I said before, to get uh, string to make a bed. Of course, you need string to actually get the fishing rod to then uh, get more string. Well, maybe you found somewhere where there was a fishing rod. I don't think any chests have uh, that you find out and about uh, have fishing rods just there. It's getting dark, though. We'd better uh, pop back into our house and uh, rest up. And so, folks, when we come back, we have managed to uh, make a fair bit of uh, headway in making our new room. We have the enchantment table. What we need now are lots of books. Lots and lots of books. 18 times 3, or 15 times 3 to get uh, everything working properly. We need 45 books, which means 45 leather and 3 times the amount of paper. And then you need uh, some planks, but planks are easy enough to get. It's a long-term project. Once it's done, enchantment will be open to us, and I'm going to deal with that uh, bit of uh, ground there while I'm thinking about it. No creepers? Good. And something else that I uh, almost forgot about. Very nearly forgot about this. I'm gonna go down here, and I'm going to go into the storage room, get one stone block. And what are we going to do with that? I'm going to deal with this block here that's still stone. I'm surprised nobody noticed that, but I did upon checking. And so, folks, let me come back. More fishing, a little bit more uh, getting leather, and hopefully working our way towards unlocking enchantment. But if we get a saddle, we'll go instead and uh, explore around. And any cows that we find will be a potential source of leather as we go. Who knows what we'll uncover out there? It is a world full of unknowns. Hopefully not doom. Don't want to find doom out there. Or peril. There's probably going to be both, isn't there? Yes, yes there is. At least there won't be blazes trying to fire fire at me. There are potentially worse things, but at least there won't be lots of fire. I hope. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Ooh, a fish. I wonder if there's more.